On this most important day of their lives, Denise and Eric have asked me to express their gratitude to each of you for being here today and sharing in their happiness. They've asked you to be here, I'm sure, because each of you are very important to them and have given themselves into their lives, be it your love, your friendship, your guidance, your support, your encouragement, all of which is very important to them up to this point in their lives and will continue to be so as they leave here this evening as husband and wife. They wanted me to tell you that you've enriched their lives and made a very important contribution as to who they are as individuals and who they become as a couple. They've asked me to tell you they feel they're truly blessed to have so many wonderful people in their lives. So dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of this company to join this woman Denise and this man Eric in the bonds of matrimony, which is an honorable estate not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and discreetly. This union is most serious because it will join you together for the rest of your lives in a relationship that is so close and so intimate, it will profoundly influence all your hopes and all of your dreams for the years to come. From the moment our paths crossed, I knew my heart was yours. We have already spent a decade together, and I'm happy to say that you're also my best friend in my entire world. I vow to always be there for you. When you are hungry, I will always have a snack. When you are scared, I will always protect you. When you are happy, I'll be sure to laugh with you. And when you cry, I'll kiss away your tears. I vow to always be strong and prepared to care for you in any way possible, and to always have our emergency bag ready to go for whatever life brings us. I vow to always be there for the next renovation, <laughs> to have every tool ready to go and to always have fun no matter how complicated the situation is. I vow to always have an open mind, to be patient when you're stressed, to be calm when you're overworked. But most importantly, I vow to always be right by your side during our greatest times and our worst times our healthiest times and our sickest times. I will forever be here to care for you in any situation. As I have given you my hand to hold, so I give you my life to keep. My heart is and always will be yours, and I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. Eric, you are my best friend. I never would have guessed that when I went to that graduation party all those years ago, when we were just 15 years old, that I would meet my future husband. I couldn't understand how you could be so sure that I was the one for you. It only took me a few years to catch up and get over my apprehensions. How could this be happening already? We're too young. A love this wonderful and complimentary couldn't possibly be for us. But it was, and it still is, after all these years. Because in fact, Eric, you compliment, you do compliment me so perfectly. I'm talkative, you're reserved. I'm, ha I'm hangry, and you have a snack waiting. <laughs> I'm too easily moved to emotion, and you're my calm, steady rock. I'm full steam ahead, and you teach me to slow down. I love you not only for what you are, but for what I am when I'm with you. You make me into a better version of 